a collecting spirit. Um, the reason why I call this show a collecting spirit is um, over the past two and a half years, I've met with Paul a number of times, and we've talked about the artwork that he's passionate about. And he certainly appreciates it on an aesthetic level. And he um, might say, like many collectors would say, that they just collect what they're drawn to, what they like. Um, but I also began to see in um, the choices that Paul was making a kind of appreciation of these works on a spiritual level. And to me, that was what connected them all, although they are a disparate group of things that range um, from the mid-19th century to the 21st century. Throughout my adult life, art has been important to me. At the same time, it has been energizing and calming, challenging and aesthetically satisfying, expanding and therapeutic, and above all, sensitizing and compelling. This, um, this exhibition, which continues upstairs, has about 150 works um, from among the 250-some works that, that Paul has donated. We have etching here. We have um, lithography. Um, so etching, engraving, aqua tint, mezzo tint, those are all printed from a metal plate. Uh, lithography is printed from a, a stone. Um, we have woodcut, which is a wood block that's been carved and then inked. Um, and then we have some unusual techniques, like these Rouault prints are actually um, heliogravure, so it's a photographic process um, used to reproduce paintings. Um, but then he's gone and done printmaking techniques on top of that. It's a very kind of unusual um, method that he used. Um, so he's done aqua tint um, and engraving on top of these heliogravures. So as a collector, Paul Kenya um, has long been a supporter of contemporary artists in a variety of ways. So some of the first purchases he made in the 60s were paintings by contemporary artists. And in the 2000s, he started collecting the work that you see here, um, which is mostly from Tamarin Institute. Tamarin was um, founded in 1960 in LA um, and now is in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And it's a workshop that's credited really with um, revitalizing lithography in this country. Um, and they continue to work with artists and match artists with master printers to um, create, experiment and create the images. David Rose says, abstraction has qualities other approaches don't. I'm thinking primarily of its openness to multiple interpretations. At its best, abstraction acts as a catalyst for people to examine their own feelings, desires, etc. It does take some work on the viewer's part, and it helps if people can access their own emotions and intuitions. What was Paul responding to, and what is it about the spirituality or the potential spirituality that he sees in these works? I hope you'll be able to join us um, he and I will give a gallery talk on August 17th at 7 o'clock. Um, and then he will be here also on Sunday, August 27th at 1 o'clock. And he'll be having a discussion with um, Ron Rumford, who is one of the dealers who has helped him build his collection over many years.